I would quickly like to say that don't fear the length of the video, it's just gameplay at the end to show you that all the mods are working, so thank you. Hey guys, it's me, Michael, from IGPH Productions, and this is gonna be, I'm going to be showing you guys two different ways to go about installing mods for um, things like Left 4 Dead or Half-Life, something you know, mostly games from Valve. There's two ways you can do this. You can go to your Steam and go to the market, not market, um, well, go whatever game that you have currently. Let's say you wanted to modify Left 4 Dead 2. There's a new thing now brought to you by Steam. It's called Steam Workshop, and you can browse a workshop, and it's easy as clicking one button. All you have to do, though, the only hard part is um, finding what you want to use. Um, so, let's say you wanted the last of us last of us death music and your uh, left 4 dead 2 game all you have to do is click the subscribe button and it downloads after it done download which is right here all it's gonna do is update downloaded it and it's gonna be in your game once you launch it back up which I'm not gonna do because uh, you know I'll, I'll do that at the end because I can't really do that right now. That's one simple way to go about installing mods for these types of games. Um, other ways, uh, it's, we're gonna be going to Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead. Let's see. Let's go right there. LeftForDead.com. No, that's not what I wanted actually. For dead maps is what I want. LeftForDeadMaps.com is a special place where you get a whole archive, a whole everything of mods that won't usually probably be in the marketplace. There, there are a bunch and bunch of mods for this. Um, all you have to do is sign up if you want to. Or you get better download speeds if you do sign up. Um, if I can. Or if it would let me. Um, let's. But we're gonna be modifying Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2. We're gonna go and add. Let's see. What should we add? See, this is the hard part about choosing. You, you have to choose what you want to install. You can install maps, which you basically know for survival. Campaigns, which you know are the storyline that you go through, the long ones, and there's mods. Um. Let's just go install mod. Uh, mm, like I said, it's kind of hard. Choose several Regal Raptor quotes. Haha. Uh, like I said. What? Uh huh. Yeah, like I said, um, I'm being a bit choosy right now. But you also get what? Else? Oh, GUI. Maybe I'll change the GUI. But to what? I don't know. Uh, don't know. I want to change what? Hmm, give me a second. Okay, I just finally decided uh, to go with the map. <laughs> because it would be way too difficult uh, to choose a mod right now. Since I mostly have a lot of mods and never anymore is not something. Let's just go with something like this. Uh, no, 6.1. Oh, 1 for 9. Sure. Oh, that actually looks good. And if, when you want to do that, you're going to select the download button and click download. And then you, you type in not what I wanted. I wanted to shift T K download and your file will download and then I'm gonna excuse me a second. I mean I'm also downloading something else. <coughs> Alright, download starting. Come on, let me thank you. Nothing like a G6, just like G6. Okay. 
second, you gotta wait for them to finish downloading. While that's downloading, um, what you wanna do is click the start button and click computer. We're gonna go to our local disk, which is, or any area where your game for Left 4 Dead, or well, not Left 4 Dead, wherever your Steam folder is located at. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2 again, and add-ons, and anything that's from not the workshop goes here. Anything from the workshop goes in here, and you do not put anything in here. If you put your add-ons within the workshop folder, you're not. It's not going to work. You have to keep it here. Um, just to let you know, some files may or may not work properly. May or may not. Okay, so we're actually taking this time. Um, it was a while. Alright, so let's just go over here. Downloads and wait for them. I like how the bigger one downloaded first. Well, they got a couple seconds ahead, too, I guess. I can't complain. They're they're both done downloading right now, so I'm just don't be here waiting on their end. There you go. Uh, extract two. You might also want to download RAR. RAR is better than using zip. My my own little personal opinion here. But you can use zip if you want to. Pick. It's it's probably still doing its thing. No. It said look in here for since I'll, I'll I'll deal with this one later because we're going to deal with this one extract tool there you go and just copy this or you know you can just drag it in on add-ons if you just in a copy just paste it in here and you're done um um thick. Or does, how do you put Bix in here? I, I actually really would like to know. Save. Huh. Give me one more second. Okay, I just found out how to do it. Um, if you guys also want to know how to install Bix into here, what you're going to have to do is... First off, let's go over here um, into media. See these three? We gotta rename this to that three times. So let's do that quickly. Cancel. Rename left or dead two. Left for dead two. Underscore background zero. We'll see that. Um, one. Okay. That's what that is. I don't know why control C that's not gonna work. Paste. Rename left or dead to background. Oh two. Rename left for dead to background. Background. Oh, three. Okay, we have a problem here. Left for dead to underscore. Ha oh, ha. Oh. I. Why did. Uh, go ahead. missing something here. Uh, four and five. Rename uh, for dead two underscore background. Oh three. Haha. <laughs> oh four. And last one. 
We're going to rename you, lastly, to left for that who underscore background 05. There we go. And what we're going to do with these is just be a lot quicker if I just cut them. No folder. Um, or again. Background backup. And just paste them here. Okay, now it's going to be missing those until we put the this in here. Okay, we got step one done. And you guys want to know what step two is? Step two is going back into Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 2, and going into sound. And once you're in sound, you're gonna go over here into where is it? Music. And after you go to music, you're gonna go Left 4 Dead again. So it's gonna be called Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, you could just, they said just cut it, delete it, do stuff like that. Um, what I just did, I'm just assuming this works too, is if you just rename it. Usually, that I think that would work, or I, I can find out and be wrong. But that's what I did. Hopefully, that works. You know what? No. Just, just. No, well, it should work. Yeah. It should, should work. I don't know. Uh, it should work. Okay, let's go into Left 4 Dead and find out of these mods and see if they work. Okay. Okay, Left 4 Dead 2 is launched. Kill all the sons of bitches. Got guys, you got to go out and kill all the sons of bitches. Just like Edith one said. <sighs> I'm assuming it's loading that background, yeah? Yeah, alright, so that worked. Um. Game froze for a second. As you can tell, um, this, this is actually kind of pretty loud. Not gonna lie. Um, wow, that's nice. Well, let's just go into a game. But to make sure your add-ons are working and to select them, you just go through here on add-ons. Hopefully, you guys can see or hear me. I already have a lot of add-ons on. The ones that I turned off are these ones. Um, hopefully it's working. Um, uh, I'm looking through here. I, I don't see... I, we, just put, we just put one thing in here. That's right. We put a map. Um, that's going to happen. Especially if I'm recording. Uh, Add-on campaign is where your maps that were installed are going to be at. Here it is, one for nine. Um, Zoe, because you guys won't. Be yeah, you will. Start game. Okay. Got that loudness out of the way. Now I know that works. You can go and make your own background for your uh, Left 4 Dead game, you just have to get a uh, converter to make it go into a BIC file. Once you get that done, you're good. Um, if you guys want a tutorial for that, well, just tell me or go look it up yourself for someone else who probably did it too. Okay, I'm just gonna do time travel here for it to load. One for nine, the dusk of man, the dawn of zombies, like hell it is. Okay, there we go, it's loading all the way now. Um, it's gonna be a nice game. Oh, did the mod not load for Bill? Yeah, I did, his hands are different. Um, let's get us some stuff. So, as you can see, it all worked. If you guys liked the video, please like and favorite it. And like it like you should, because you liked the video. And don't be a little liar. Um, and then after that, 
Also click subscribe since you know it helps. It helps me. I I, I love it when you click subscribe. Please do it. It's a, it's a thing you should do. Also, if you want to know a little little nice thing, if you guys want to, or is it enable SV cheats? Where's SV cheats? Should be here. Um, there's no advanced option here. Advanced options, sorry. It's okay. Oh, I know how to enable them. They're not here though. Um. Well, I'm just gonna go off over here and kill myself. So. Well, that's pretty much it, and that's gonna be loud again. I just remembered, oh my! But if you guys want to turn on SV cheats, go to X. Nope. Okay, I honestly don't remember how to turn on SV cheats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm such a liar. Oh, there it is. I was right. Options, keyboard, mouse, and you're gonna enable allow your developer console, and then that's it. You get your SV cheats. Which is the squiggly, the squiggly underneath escape. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day and like the video now, please.